what is 10 that's the first part what is 10 you need to know that identity remember 10 theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta that you need to know so which means tan squared theta is 1 over what if i put a squared here so you put a squared there you put a squared there that's it it's sine squared x over cos squared x see that So now I'm going to look at 5.3. We are proving this identity. Now again, I say if you are coming here for the first time, I have already done 5.2. Now you need to do look at the video previously. But if you're subscribed, you would have seen YouTube would have notified you that there is a 5.2 video. Watch it. But if you're not subscribed, unfortunately, that's why you are searching this channel trying to find out uh, where are the next videos. So now look at the previous video then we can look at 5.3 says we need to prove the identity we need to prove the identity and then what is the identity it's given here 1 over 10 squared x is minus cos squared x is equal to cos to the power 4 of x over sine squared x and you know when you are proving you need to choose the side there are two sides the left hand side and the right hand side Choose the side that you feel like I've got more that I can work on. In this case, let's look at the left hand side. You can see that it's got more, more bond to chew, you know. Look at this. I've got 1 over tan squared x minus cos squared x. See, I can do quite a few things on here. Is So I've chosen the left hand side. Okay. Equal to. Now what is 10 that's the first part what is 10 you need to know that identity remember 10 theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta that you need to know so which means tan squared theta is 1 over what if i put a squared here so you put a squared there you put a squared there that's it it's sine squared x over cos squared x see that then it's minus cos squared x first things first now you need to know in maths let me take a calculator here if i say to you one divided by one over two you see how i did it the answer becomes two if i say to you one over one over four the answer becomes four or if i say now one over 3 over 4. Now look at this. The answer becomes what? 4 over 3. Let's test it with the calculator so that it becomes easier for you. It's Be careful how you punch it. Don't do this. Don't say divided, divided. You'll get it wrong because you are saying 1 over 4. I mean, if you write it like that, it's like the fraction is on top and the number is at the bottom. So how do you do with the calculator? You put the first fraction, then it says 1, and then go down and then put another fraction you see the difference you must also look at the length of these division lines you'll see that they're different if i say three over four what do i get you see four over three so now what just happened it means when i take it up this goes to the top and this one will remain where it is so even here the cos squared goes to the top and the other one will remain so this will be equal to if i'm using that same concept I don't want to go much with the fractions. So it will be what? This will be equal to cos squared. You can see that. Ne? Over what? Over sine squared. Mustn't confuse you. Minus what? Cos squared x. Just say over 1. It will make things easier for you. 
if you can do that now that we've done that it's fractions now you need to understand fractions and fractions are very important you need to um it's the common denominator i don't know how you want to do it but you can see in here my common denominator is sine squared x because the other one is just one so it's sine squared x over so i'm gonna say what sine squared x into sine squared x is one it's one times cos squared x you multiply times the top minus one into sine squared x it's sine squared x times i'll put a dot cos squared x are you with me so sum here when you are doing fractions it's the normal fractions you two guys so if you're given cos squared x over sine squared x minus cos squared x as i say you say over one so some what they do is you multiply you say times here you'll have what sine squared x you multiply by that denominator here you multiply even here you multiply by one times one and then you multiply sine squared times so it's that so it's this times one and that times that over that times that i i getting that so if i give you a over b and then i say um minus c over d so what you do you take b multiply so it will be what it will be and then take d and multiply and then multiply these two so what are you gonna have we are gonna have a d minus uh, b c over b d did you see what i did you multiply a times d multiply you multiply c times this maintain the sign and then you multiply that are you with me so that is what actually is it but if you're doing it the normal uh common denominator if you say a b minus a over d common denominator is bd say say a b into bd it's d d times a is a d you see there is the a d minus d into d bd it's b times a it's b a over b d so it's the same thing depends how you want to do it but it's simple fractions here fractions fractions all right now when i've done this guys let's continue finish it up now it's not far from from final answer i'm gonna call this way now look at this it's cos squared one times cos squared was just cos squared so i've got cos squared here i've got cos squared here it's a common factor why because i've got a negative sign so i can take it out and say cos squared x now here if i'm taking it out it means i'm cancelling that and i'm cancelling that so i'll left with one minus sine squared you see that so that's what i'll be left inside the what the brackets so it's one minus uh sine squared x over what over sine squared x now don't lose sight of where we're supposed to go they say it must be cos to the power four x over sine squared now there is something interesting in this bracket this one one minus sine squared what is interesting look at this if you remember the identity you need to know this identity cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to one you need to know this identity it's a very common one and they always play you around it if i take sine squared to the other side it's positive when it jumps it becomes negative so it will be cos squared theta is equal to one minus sine squared theta now look at this and look at what i have here on my answer one minus sine squared theta so we meaning i can interchange to say this is actually cos squared instead of theta i say x because that's my cos squared you see so if i continue now i'll have cos squared x times that one became also cos squared x over what sine squared x see now the answer now cos squared cos squared 
its exponents. How many are they? 2 plus 2 is 4. So that is cos to the power 4x over uh, sine squared x. And this is equal to our what? Our right hand side. Done and dusted. Finish and clap. Look guys, it's not difficult. It was a 4 marks after all. So I was just going slowly. Remember again, this channel is for the underdogs. Those who say take it slowly. I don't want you to be very fast because I need to understand each and every detail. You know, so that's why I'm taking it slower like this. And now I'm cutting these videos into small sections. So what am I saying? If you are uh, watching this video, it means I'm ending it here. And then I'm going to do 5.4, which is the general solution. Very important now. Six marks. You see, they don't play here. General solution. So, join me again in the next video. If you are subscribed, you will get a notification when I'm posting this. That's why I say subscribe right now. Go on and subscribe and ensure the notification bell is turned on. So, when I'm posting 5.4, you will be notified. Do you hear me? If you're not subscribed, every time you have to come back, try to remember the channel. It's called 24 minute. Try to search for the next video. You are just making it long unnecessarily. So just subscribe and make it easier for you. All right.